Charlie, thank you. Another meeting is in the works for later today between University of Wisconsin administration and the students who are protesting and currently camped on the library mall. And we're not sure what time that meeting will happen yet, but we have WMTV's Phoebe Murray joining us live with more on what's happening next. Phoebe. Hey, good morning, you guys. Demonstrators are still very much here, nearly two dozen tents on Library Mall, but something that you will not find is law enforcement, and that's because after yesterday's initial meeting with university leadership, they agreed for 24 hours, for a 24-hour period, that police would not take action on this encampment, but students with the pro-Palestinian protest movement say that they did not see this first meeting with Chancellor Jennifer Manukin as a win. It shouldn't take public outcry for her to realize how bad it is that instead of talking to students, her first response was to deploy police force with batons and tasers to attack students, faculty, staff, and community members. We also spoke with one university professor who was at this closed door meeting yesterday. He says he wishes it had happened earlier. One of my problems with administrations that do not meet the students is that um, they think of themselves as the university rather than thinking that the university is constituted or made of students, faculty, staff and administration. So that who you just heard from was Samir Alatut. He was the man caught on camera in this now iconic photo. As UW police held him down, he was one of the 34 people arrested on these clashes Wednesday with law enforcement. So we will continue to monitor these negotiations. Another meeting is expected with leadership today uh, around 830. That is the expected time now where the two groups disagree uh, is on these encampments. Obviously, the university wants to see them go. They say that it is a violation of their university code chapter 18. So we will be following this storyline very closely all throughout the morning on day five of this pro-Palestine encampment. Reporting live in Madison, Phoebe Murray, WMTV 15 News. All right, Phoebe, yeah, hopefully everything remains peaceful there. Thank you. Meanwhile, the Jewish Federation of Madison says supporters of Israel are feeling unsafe here in town. They claim that people have been hired to threaten their community. You have professional agitators who are intimidating Jewish students, Jewish um, faculty members, people who have affinity for the state of Israel as the only democracy in the Middle East. We've seen this now um, extended, unfortunately, to private businesses. But protesters say their issues lie specifically with the university and the state of Israel, not with the Jewish community. It's not a Jewish versus Muslim issue. It's not the Jews aren't doing anything wrong. It's the leaders in Israel are doing things wrong. They're bombing Gaza. Kurzer says protests were peaceful until police showed up on Wednesday.